just getting started. All purpose cleaner, so it's got no gloss enhancers, no waxes or anything, obviously, because of the ceramic rotors. Um, I use one of those as well for my knees. Oh, the mat, yeah, mat's good. Mat's very good. And you do the wheels first, do you? Always, always do the wheels first. There's no point in getting the rest of the bodywork wet because um, the sun can potentially dry it on. Yeah. Like, I mean, these areas there, I mean, you just gotta do it as quick as you can, obviously. You're gonna have a bit of overspray, but always get the wheel sorted first. They're the dirtiest areas. You always use a separate um, separate bucket, cleaning implements for the wheels. Get these areas clean and your arches. Jobs are good in. And then do the bodywork, and then obviously you finish the bodywork process, dry it off, then dry your wheels uh, afterwards. So treat them as two separate things. And does this treatment, they say it lasts five years, does it really? It's Garnex, whatever the name of Garnex is. G Technic Platinum. Um, so the one that I use is a five year ceramic casing and it does last for five years. I don't use Platinum, I use Crystal Sim Light and XOV4. Platinum is the. Um, do you think they really do it properly at the dealership or they just slap it on as part of the BDI? The Ferrari up the road has got the same Platinum on and it's got a gloss black roof uh, convertible and part of that i noticed in the sun it wasn't properly refined so it was still a little bit hazy and that was from ferrari and i was like that's not exactly a good sign well, when i had that ceramic coat um, it was still a bit hazy. i got rid of it which I which is auto clip right you ah, okay uh so mercedes was it no that was done by a local I've seen some of their wrapping and they're not good at wrapping. <sighs> I mean, one of them, so one of them was on YouTube, a girl did a video, took a car, she said after an hour or two, just stop. It looks like a child's done it, just stop, take it off, I'm going elsewhere. I had another car brought over to me and he'd had gloss, his uh, chrome trim all done. Yeah. And there was gaps of like that underneath all of this stuff. So I was like, okay, well I was contemplating having that one done, the van, yeah. having it vinyl wrapped. I'm probably not gonna anymore. It needs a bit of TLC, but I was like, okay, so I'm not gonna use anymore. They're meant to be master wrappers. Then what I saw was pretty, pretty dismal. Um, yeah, shame. Shame, really. No. So they also wrapped the yeah, Porsche? Yeah, they wrapped that, but it's not right. It's, it, we've got a dispute going on with that. Oh, you're joking. So there you go, there's the third, third instance of, yeah. well, fourth, I guess, if you've had a ceramic cone done by them. Yeah, shame. Right. Oh, coffee will be absolutely fantastic. Uh, no sugar, nice and milky, please. Thank you. Um, started ever since I bought my first car, so. That's what originally got me into it, um, straight away. And as a business, uh, 2013, the start of 2013, I began doing it on the side, evenings, weekends, um, and then eventually went full time, start of 2016. Uh, so yeah, that's been the biggest learning curve since going full time, to be fair before then it was oh it was good um, a good introduction into doing other people's cars because it's a completely different aspect obviously you're having to well different vehicles different surfaces different cleanliness levels different ways of going about cleaning cars so different expectations as well yeah cars, yeah true yeah very true uh, what tire dressing do you usually use uh, endurance gel but I've got it. I've got it there. Yes, I think it is. Oh, right. <laughs> ah. In the uh, concourse competition. 
A concourse competition. Yeah, that, that Mercedes won the Mercedes concourse last year. Red one. Uh, which concourse event? The National Mercedes. It was um, the beginner's class, but hey, it's right. the winner. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I've, um, so I've had a Mark II Focus RS for seven weeks. That one's being, it will be getting prepped up to concourse standard. Two, two stage wet sand, three, three or four stage machine polish, full ceramic coatings, 200 hours it's going to take me. And then that's going to be entered into as many concourse events as I can enter it into. I can't wait to do that. But I did my first. It's going to be a concourse track car. So it's like two disciplines, both ends of the spectrum. But I did my first track day in it two days ago at Donington. Good. Absolutely amazing. What's so, the power is it? Uh, well, it's pretty much, well, it's not standard, but... Uh, power mods it hasn't got much it's probably 320 horsepower it's probably got about 15 extra horsepower so that's the Focus RS they did, they did them in green and blue didn't they green, blue, white white yeah that's the one which is yours blue yeah gotta be blue uh, yeah blue and I was looking last night and um, I'm thinking stage 2 cams intercooler remap Reset valve, maybe a few other bits, chuck a couple of grand at it, and I should be able to get it running 400. I reckon. I wanted one for 10 years, so now that I've got it, I've worked my back end off for it. So, yeah, we've got another track day, 10th of June. Booked the next one last night, I just saw it. I did an evening session at Donington. So I was like, um, evening was good, but I got there, did the sighting laps, came back in the pits, and I was just, I was a bit shaky, to be fair. I was on my own, I haven't done Donington before. And walked around the pit lane with me, with me camera to do some footage. Um, and then next thing, I was like, right, let's get me car, let's go to the pit lane. Oh my God, it's half past six, we've only got two hours left. I, I just wasted an hour. So it was a bit of a manic rush. So I booked a day this time. Um, yeah, I'll be so much more. The only thing on this, there's a little tiny scratch on this. On both sides. Oh, the black. Yeah. You perhaps use your magic on that. Um, there's a couple of stone chips, but I can't tell you about them. They've just done these leading edges here. Right, yeah. I've not had it PPF. yet. Partly because of the hassle I've had with uh, And the Ferrari I uh, sometimes. So, uh, to rinse that off. That's had, P that's had PPF and it just doesn't look that good. You can tell it's on. They don't do in the corners like wraps, do they? They yeah. do it to the edge. Yeah, that might get. So we'll put it with the odd stench. Yeah. Get some tension. The only thing, uh, but the best thing, obviously PPF, well then failing that ceramic coating. Ceramic coating is going to offer you a bit, a bit of protection. But not the same as PPF, obviously not in terms of stone chips. Are you going to PPF yours? No, no, no. I, I won't be able to do PPF. I'm specialising in paint correction and ceramic coatings for now. Soon to be G-Technic accredited. Well, the weather's coming out. Is that good or bad for your balloting session? Oh, it's bad. Good for your photos. Uh, it's bad more than anything. Mm -hmm. It means that I need to work quicker. Well, you can put it around the corner like I I drive it round. Because this, you find it. Because that's the wall space. How's it going? Yes, it's going well. Uh, wheels now, dry the wheels. Bodywork's pretty much dry. So the bodywork good? Uh, yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. So we bought it, there were a few steps on the front of it. There was also a ding in the door, but I had to remove that before it got it. I haven't really um, given it a proper Clean, pretty, and then have a look. Yeah, it's a smart car. Ah, it's brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely. Is it as good as you thought, or better than you thought? Better, yeah. I didn't bother looking at any Google images or anything. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, let's leave it as a surprise. It was Sam who uh, contacted me, wasn't it? How do you know Sam? Um, did uh, I've done so I did his uh, Ford Connect, done his Range Rover, 
Yeah. Um, so I've been over there four times, I think. Four times in the last month, month and a half. Um, and yeah, I, I just said to him, I was like, do you know, um, do you know anyone with a supercar? Because I, I could do with um, this YouTube video idea. But if you want a Ferrari next, I've got someone who will do the same. And you can do it here if you want. Okay, is it which one is it? The, it's the California T. California. I've got so I've got a regular ish customer literally up the road. He's got a white California T. This is a red one with cruise. It is the best thing. Right, okay. He, he, he said to me, Oh, if it's any good. He said, If you're any good, he said, Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, also, if you do it once for free, you might get some business in the long term. Yeah. He's quite lazy. I, I would like to look after my car. Yeah. But uh, he's quite lazy. I'd normally do this. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> well, I'm. Um, but my, you won't be my race. My race is a curry. A curry? Crikey. <laughs> I've killed for a curry, though. I've been on a diet for nearly two months. <laughs> God, yeah, I've been for a curry. That's all I get, a curry. <laughs> Can't complain. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping to, in fact, I'm going to be bringing out my own small range of car cleaning products. I must uh, show you what I've got, because I've got a whole mix of car products. Okay. Do you have a quick look at that? Uh, let me, oh, let, let let me do these yeah. two well, wheels. I'll show you what I've got, because obviously I've just collected loads of different things over the years. Yeah. I mean, I do like the Meguiars. I've been using a lot of that. But I've run out of Meguiars wash and wax. Ah, okay. Yeah. Do you use any Swiss wax? I've got a Swiss Vax kit that was given to me with one of my cars and never even opened it. No, you're joking. Swiss Vax are amazing. So I've got it, but I've just... And I've got Auto Glim, which was always the go-to thing, wasn't it? I think I'd be the better name. Yeah. But I like the Auto Glim... Uh, it's got the two... I've got, I've got the finisher and the sort of slightly rougher polish. I find that pretty good for getting scratched. Oh, yeah. With that kit. Okay. Yeah. So you spend longer on the wheels than I do on the whole car. Really? <laughs> I don't spend that long on the wheels. I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I like the wheels. But I know it's nice to see the wheels. Ideal wheels, because they're on too strong. Take them off. You only, yeah, you take them off. You just yeah, how long it takes to take the wheels off then? Probably five seconds. No. One bolt, isn't it? Yeah, but you need all the right kit. Ah, oh, have it set up. Yeah. You've got to have it yeah. uh, it took me about an hour to just do a repair, a puncture repair on that. Ah, okay. Well, you see the, um, you know, the pit stops go and they go into yeah. the pits. Yeah, yeah those, those are all mine. I'm guessing that's one one bolt that holds it on. It's a special, uh, you need 600 newton meters of force. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Which is a lot. Yeah. Swimming, haven't you? Nice and stinky. <laughs> I don't know that. I was in last night. Did you want to dig up the lawn? Ah, look at the damage. Where's Al? Alfred? Dusty. Uh, dusty. Dusty, I'd say. You like roof lining and everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> 